Hello, I am Joe Alexi, and welcome back to Morrowind. So we're here on the island of Vardenfell once again, and we are going to help the Amuse, these little tribes people. We're going to help them with their problem, so they will name us the Neverine. We need their, uh, uh, we need their liking, yeah, so yeah. we're going to go talk to the wise woman and see what's up. I'm never too busy for good talk. Yes, Joxie. Are you ready for me to accompany you to Old Daedroth? Sure. Have you made Old Daedroth a safe place for the Amuse? If you, if I may pass in safely to the old sanctuary and see the great statue in the inner shrine, then the place is safe for my people. If Old Daedroth is safe, are you ready for me to accompany you there? and test with our lives whether it is indeed safe. Yes, please accompany to me to all Daedra. All right. Very well, Jonas. Now I will accompany you to the Daedric Shrine in all, on all Daedra. And when you have brought me to this old sanctuary beneath the ruins, and I might see a great statue of Sheagorath in front of the inner shrine, then I will surely know that you have made all Daedra safe for the Amuse, and I will name you Amuse Neverine. Go ahead, and we will speak further before the great statue. Alright. So this might be a little bit of a problem, because we have been to Old Daedroth a few times. However, I don't know if it's safe. So we might be leading her to her death. So I don't know how that would play out, but we've already been in there, and I know enemies like to respawn but i don't know we will check it out surely surely we are fine all right come along come along can i ask you to wait places yes we're going all day growth where we will see if you have made it safe for the almost say i will accompany you until we stand before the great statue there we will speak further okay so I'm gonna walk on water. I think she can do it too. Yeah, she got like boots of water walking. All right. So here's my plan. Okay, she's not very fast. Here's my plan. I'm gonna try to ditch her outside, run in real quick, and like, you know, do a quick little cleanup. Not really a cleanup. We're gonna kill people. They can clean the bodies. You know, that's part of, like, making a home. Okay, so she is coming. All right. All right. That works. That works. She's got a fairly good range on her, it looks like. So I don't know how this is going to plan out. And I can't hit her with paralysis because that's a... Uh, combative spell you know I don't think she would like us oh okay I didn't know oh wow he was right on us wait no that's a piece of grass I thought we were done for my bad now if you guys remember what was going on here was they were having some sort of party, and there was a creeper in there that was basically just like materializing drinks. He was pulling drinks out of the air and basically giving them to everybody that wanted them. Cool little party. An infinite supply of alcohol. But while the party was going on, there was these dudes in gold helmets. Some kind of enderil soldiers or something. All right, she's coming. I'm going to go ahead and ditch her. We're going to ditch her. All right, I'm not being attacked. That's a good sign. All right, she's not in here with us, so that's good. That gives us a second to run ahead to make sure there's nothing going to jump out from the dark and, like, start sticking us. So she wants to go to the main chamber shrine. 
you. Are you a friend nor foe? You're just here to loot the shrine, right? That's fine with us. Just be careful. Leave us alone and we'll leave you alone. All right. Perfect. Ooh. Nothing I want. Okay. So this place is controlled and safe now. Which is good. I don't think she'll take any, like hardship towards those guys that are just hanging out here because I'm sure once they're done doing what they're doing you know they'll take off crap get me out of the water all right come on yeah all right so she actually makes a okay I was about to Talk good for her for a second, but she looked like she got hung up, but she didn't. So she actually does make a pretty good follower. She's got pretty good pathing and a decent speed to keep up with us. I don't know if she fights, but I'm sure she would if, like, worst came to worst. Alright. Alrighty doing well so this is basically a lot easier than I was expecting it to be I was kind of thinking it would give us a lot of stuff to do but I completely forgot we just had to clear this place out which we already done that so that's a big plus all right come up here you're there yes we're going to all day dress okay so this is not the sign thank you oh there we go I said I would accompany you, Jolex, to see if you had made all dirty dress safe for the Amuse. You have fulfilled my conditions. Thank you, Jolexi, and the Amuse shall be saved. And if you wish, now I shall name you Neverine of Amuse. You have made this place safe for the Amuse, and so I name you Amuse Neverine, war leader of the Amuse and protector of the people. I also give you the Madstone of the Amuse, which shall be a sign of all Dummer to all Dummer that you are the Neverine, and that the Amuse shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead. Now I can stay only briefly. Soon I must return to Amuse camp and make preparations to relocate here. All right. Beautiful. Sound. 50 points for seconds. Hmm. I don't know what that does. May you find me worthy of your attention. Oh, excellent. All right. So, I just got a feeling if I use Om Civi, it's going to take us either to Nissus or Aldrun. I don't know of any forts nearby. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like we might be a little bit boned on the direction. I was going to say, let's go ahead and start making our way towards, where are you, the Ebersom camp, Mount Canned, Tell Fry, and Ebersom camp is closest to Tell Fry, pretty much, all right, we'll find us a way to get there. I guess I'm going to go ahead and try to use Divine Intervention first, because I, I'm almost pretty sure that the closest shrine is like Nessus or something. Buck Moth. Alright, we ended up, we still ended up in Aldrin. Where's your uniform? I don't have it. That's fine. We can at least make our way around easier from Aldrin with the Silt Strider. Oh, how dare you. I forgot that you guys existed. And they're back. <laughs> they're back in full force. Yeah, that's kind of interesting how they did the zones and stuff. Like, Solstein doesn't have cliff, cliff racers and neither does Mournhold. So it kind of leads you to believe that they don't exist anymore you just completely forget about them and then when you come back it's just like oh that's right there you are 
evil of the skies. All right, so I'm gonna try Bible. to get back over the, towards Tell Fry, and then from there, we will simply track over to the Eberson camp. Please join me. Now, while we're at the Eberson camp, we're gonna have to. Uh, I guess we're gonna do their quest. And then once we get named Neverine, then we will talk to those two dudes that stole that guy's war hides. That's May you friend. find right, me worthy of your attention. Oh, excellent. All right, so this is the correct direction. What do we have here? I'm going to hit it with some water walking. All right. So we get along, well not really along, we get us a little bit of a journey, a little bit of quest, a little back on Barton Bell. Now we will be going back to Solstein and uh, Mournhold to pick up some of their uh, side quests that we didn't do yet. The only reason I'm wanting to do this is because I'm wanting to uh, get us prepped for the final bottle with bottle, final battle with Dagoth Ur. And pretty much what this will do is I'm going to try to do what I did last time and use episode 225 as our fight with Dagoth Ur, and that would be the end of our Let's Play. But I don't like it ending on episode 225. I'd rather round it off to an even 250. Get out of here! So we will be going back to our Wood Elf character to pick up on a few quests that we forgot to do for him. Plus, it'd be good just to go back and check him out because, you know, I like doing stuff like that. Now, the way that I did it is pretty much whenever you save, uh, if we just named our guy Joax again and save over our game save of our Wood Elf, so since this is our le second Lex play, we go in with Joe Alexi too. And the only reason I named our characters that is so that it will give it a decent file name so there's no chance of us accidentally deleting one of our characters. We don't want that to happen. Nothing's worse than losing a character that you spent a lot of time on. All right, sir. Vanquished. Oh, hey. Ah. All right. That is a hell of a last name. Ursham Maramonus. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. Oh, give me your money. Actually, did he have anything? I don't know why I find that word so funny. Fetcher. It's just... It sounds like a derogatory insult. But, you know, I don't know what it means. It probably means something extremely heinous. But just hearing them say it kind of warms my heart. I find it funny. I do find cuss words funny. Especially whenever people that don't cuss just out of the blue drops one. It's just like perfect. Love it. The spice of life. Alright. So I guess we need to talk to... Actually, I'm going to get me an autosave here. Oh, okay. This is one of the guys that stole the war hides. None of your business. You there! I am Maneri, wise woman of the Ebersim. You are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Neverin prophecies. Do you need my services or just do you seek my counsel? Neverin prophecies. You wish to be named Ebersom Neverine. Never, not while Ashkan Ulth Paul and his war-loving Ebersom live. They all hate Outlanders and are very proud and are proud and ha Haji? 
haughty? I don't know what that word means. And will never suffer an outlander to rule them. If you would be Neverina the Ebersim, you must kill Ulothpal and his supporters, the Gullicans. Ahaz, Renabi, and Ashia, Ashua. Then you must help me make peace loving Ebersim, Vakan, and Amu, and Ashiken. Ashken Han Amu could then name you Neverin of Ebersum. Wow. But before anything else can be done, you must first eliminate Uvo Paul and his supporters. Then you should come speak with me and we will discuss further how you might be named Ebersum. All right. So, a little bit of. What do you want? A little bit of killing going to yes, take place here. All right, we need to kill... I must kill Uthapal and his supporters. Ahaz, Ranabi, and Ashia. Or Ashua. All right, so Ashua is first. Nope, Ranabi's first. Oh, wow, it's dark in here. I can't see. All right, sir. Is there something you need? I need your life. You are the outlander who claims to fulfill the prophecy. What do you want? Um, no nice way to put this, but... Alright, your journal has been updated. I have slain one of the war-loving Ebersome Ashlanders. Alright, we got one. That's fine. Wait a minute. Okay, so that makes him weak to fire and weak to poison. Shield. Shield. What are you going to get out? Poison, weakness to poison. It doesn't have a high damage, but I will take that. Alright, that's one down. We're actually making some pretty good progress. Oh, my phone went to sleep on me. Come on. I got the darn thing. Okay, we need to kill, well, and Amu, aha, uh -huh. you there, you have slain my people, you must pay with your life, okay, yeah, get Poke in the skeleton. Alright. We have slain another one. What do you got here? That's mine. Alright. Getting paid too. Alright. Go ahead, Outlander. Oh, what hello. Alright, so he's the last dude we need to kill. What was that? What's this? May I help? And Amu. Where's Mar Mar Where is the other May guy? I help you? Mercer of all. No? Maybe he's in here with the guy. Ah, yes. Ah, it's both of you. Very well. Perish. In the name of me. All right. For people that love war, they obviously wasn't very good at it. I don't want that. We don't use those. All right. I have slain them. All right, that should be all. We're gonna go back and talk to her now. You there. Or do you seek my counsel? Now with Ashkan Uthapul and his supporters dead, you may consider the Neverine prophecies and you may have been named Eberson Neverine and how you might be. Now with Uthapul, 
off of Paul and his supporters out of the way, it is a simple matter to be named Everain of the Ebersim. All you need to do is persuade Gulenkin Han Uma to become the Ashkin of the Ebersim. Seek him out in his Galak York. Be prepared. However, Han Aman Amu is not the material one would choose when looking to make an Ashkin. He may be difficult to persuade. Does he like money? Of course he does. Who doesn't love money? Is there something I can do for I'm you? I'm looking for someone. Yantis. Is there something you need? What do you you there. No matter what Minera says, I'm not interested. I don't want to be Ashkan. Yes, I recognize it. Ranvi wore the robes in the robe of Irodan. The wise. It was handed down to Renabi through his family, but what has that to do with my wanting to be Ashkin? Give the robe. Show the robe and make a little speech. Give the robe of Eridan and the wise the wise and make a little speech. Thank you. Your lesson is clear. It is the robe that gives wisdom in counsel, and it is the idea of the robe that gives confidence to the tribe but it is the ashkin who wears the robe and the ashkin who accepts responsibility for safety of the tribe who holds the fate in the tribe in his hands this is sobering lesson and i must give it thought yes i recognize it as a as ahaz wore the amulet senate kills heart of fire Ahaz had it from the, his father and has father had it from Kin Kinitu Nila, and Kinitu Nila had it from Senet Kil, a great witch warrior. But with what has that to do with me wanting to be Ashkan? Give it to him and make a little speech. Thank you. Your lesson is clear. It is the amulet that gives courage in battle, and it is the idea of the amulet that gives confidence to the tribe. But it is the Ashkan who wears the amulet, the Ashkan who accepts responsibility for the safety of the tribe, who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. This is a sobering lesson, and I must give it thought. Okay, so he's pretty much just going to rob us of all the stuff we just got. I don't want to be Ashkan. I'm not good at fighting, and I... I don't want to be Ashkan. I'm not good at fighting, and no one likes me anyway. I can't make anyone do anything. Why won't everyone just leave me alone? Oh, come on. I don't care what... Okay, we done read that. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little bit of... A little bit of gold. Oh, I know what he wants. We need to go back in here and we need to get like a weapon from one of them. Probably the war leader. Yeah, this. Yeah, he's still hanging on to it. Wind of a huzzah. War axe of Amu. Alright, that might be what he's wanting. Alright, bud. Yes, I recognize it. Oh, come on. Yes, I recognize it. It is the war axe of my father, the war axe of Aaron Amu Athapal, had it from my father and carried it as Ashkan. But what does that have to do with my wanting to be Ashkan? Give him an axe and a little speech. Thank you. Your lesson is clear. It is the axe that gives strength in war, and it is the idea of the axe that gives confidence to the tribe. But it is the Ashkan who wears the axe, the Ashkan who accepts responsibility for safety of the tribe, who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. Now with Upal dead, I hold the fate of the tribe in my hands, and I must accept that responsibility. Thank you for your lesson. I shall be Ashkan of the Ebersim, and I shall name you Neverine. Thank you, Jaloxy. I promise that as Ashkan, I shall do my best to amend the dark reputation of the Ebersim. And as my first action as chief, I now name you Ebersom Nevering, champion of the Ebersom, and protector of the people. You must also go to the wise woman, Maneria, 
and get from her the seizing, sizing, seizing, sizing of the Everson, an enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which shall be a sign to all Dunmer that the Everson have named you Neverine. All right. Great eyes, Outlander. Uh, All right, so he's I now in charge of these somewhere. people. We are the Neverine. We're going to run in here and see what she has to say. So, Joxy, you are called Neverine, and Hamua is now our Ashken. Many changes, many changes. You have persuaded him to accept his responsibility. Now we will see if he grows in wisdom and becomes a good and wise chief like his father. All right, what do I talk to you about now? Marine. Ah. So Han Amu has accepted his responsibility as Ashkan and has named you Eberson Neverine. Congratulations. And I must also give you the C, C I don't know this word of the Eberson, a tribal tribal heirloom that ought to be held by the chosen champion as a token that we have named the Neverine. Here, take this enchanted token of the Ebersim that all may know that you are named Neverine of the Champion. The seizing of the Ebersim. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So we're out of time now. We got named the Neverine of the Ebersim camp and the Amuse. We are already... The Urshlanku Neverine. I think that's all of them. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to check on that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay awesome.